This is the M510. It came with a unifying receiver. This is the M305 and it came with a non-unifying receiver. What that allowed me to do was to use this one receiver on my laptop and use both of these mice. You might want to do that if you want to leave one mouse at work and one mouse at home. Things have changed where I got an iMac so now I want to use just one mouse with my iMac and I want to give this to my kids. The problem I'm having is reassigning this mouse with its original receiver because this is not a unifying receiver. I can't pair this back. I looked on YouTube for some solutions and someone suggested using Logitech's unifying software. I plugged in my non-nano receiver into my computer and when I launched the unifying software it didn't even recognize the receiver. Someone else said use the Logitech Control Center app. That app does not recognize the receiver either. So both of those solutions don't work. I looked on Google for some answers and I found this app from Logitech called Logitech Connection Utility Software. But unfortunately, it only works on Windows. So in order for this to work, you need a Windows computer. I knew I kept this thing around for a reason. Son of a Do these things ever work? Okay, I have one other Windows computer in the house. So, Google Logitech Connection Utility. Here's the app you want. Download. Let's run it. Plug the receiver in. Here we go. Logitech Mouse M305. Let's click pair a new device. Let's turn it off and then on. Alright, that screen went away. Oh, and the mouse is working now. Close it out. Alright, I'm going to unplug the receiver and test it on my Mac. That's still going, by the way. Alright, here's the moment of truth. Let's plug the receiver in for the 305. Alright, we got this mouse working back again. Thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you out, please hit the like button and subscribe.